now let us discuss about 4 bit comparator it is mainly useful in order to compare two binary numbers where each binary number contains 4 bits uh, let we have two numbers let the first number is a second number is b let the first number contains 4 bits such as a3 a2 a1 a0 a3, A2, A1, A0. Second binary number also contains 4 bits such as B3, B2, B1, B0. Okay. Here A3 is the most significant bit, B3 is the most significant bit, whereas A0 and B0 are the least significant bits. We know that comparator mainly produces 3 outputs uh, is equal to greater than and less than. Uh, here, here what will happen is the comparison will be done bit by bit. So, first A3 will be compared with B3. If A3 is greater than B3, then we can say that the first number is the biggest number. So, we can say that A greater than B is 1. Okay. So, let us take with the help of an example. Let us take with the help of an example. Let the first number is 1010. Second number is 0010. So, first we have to compare A3 with B3. Here A3 value is 1, B3 value is 0. 1 is greater than 0. We can say that A is the biggest number. So A greater than B output is 1. Whereas A less than B, A is equal to B output is 0. If you take here, 1010 means decimal number 10. 0010 means decimal number is 2. So 10 is greater than 2. So we can say that 10 is the biggest number. Okay. Uh, let us assume that here also, here also the number is 1010. So, first to compare A3 with B3, both are equal. So, next to compare A2 with B2, both are equal. Next to compare A1 with B1, A1 with B1, let A1 is 0, B1 is 1. Let A1 is 0, B1 is 1. So, 0 less than 1. So, we can say that A less than B. So, we can say that A less than B output is 1, whereas remaining two outputs are 0. So, 100 means what is the number? 10. 1010 means the number is 8421. I am sorry, 100 means the number is 8. 1010 means the number is 10. So, 8 less than 10. So, we can say that A is less than B. So, likewise, we have to perform the comparison bit by bit. So, first let us see the uh, truth table here. Uh, here, inputs, these are uh, inputs. A3, we have to compare A3 with B3. Next, A2 with B2. A1 with B1. A0 with B0. So, these four are related to comparing inputs. We have four columns in inputs column and these three related to the output. So, comparator mainly produces three outputs. A is equal to B, A greater than B, A less than B. So, first let us see the first one. If A3 is greater than B3, then we can say that A greater than B output is high. There is no need to compare A to B to A1, B1, A0, B0. So, that is why we have written X here. X specifies do not care. Now, let us see the next combination. If A3 equals to B3, if A3 equals to B3, then we have to compare A2 with B2. If A2 is greater than B2, then we can say that A is greater than B. A is greater than B. So, we can say that A greater than B output is 1, whereas remaining two outputs are 0. If A2 is greater than B2, then there is no need to compare A1, B1, A0, B, B0. So, that is why we have written do not care here. Now, let us see the next combination. If A3 equals to B3, if A2 equals to B2, then compare A1 with B1. If A1 is greater than B1, if A1 is greater than B1, then there is no need to compare A0 with B0. So, that is why here we have written do not care here. If A1 is greater, greater than B1, then we can say that A greater than B output is high. So, output is 1, whereas remaining two outputs low, 0. Next, next combination. A3 equals to B3, A2 equals to B2, A1 equals to B1. The first two three bits are uh, same. Whereas coming to the last bit, A0 greater than B0. If A0 greater than B0, then we can say that A greater than B. So, A greater than B output is high, 1, whereas remaining two outputs are 0. So, with this greater than is over. Now, let us focus on is equal to. A, A3 equal to B3, A2 equal to B2, A1 equal to B1, A0 equal to B0. So, if all the bits of the first number are equals to the second number, then we can say that A equal to B. So, A equal to B output is high, 
whereas remaining two output zero. So next four are just like uh, greater than only, but in place of greater than we are replacing with less than. So these are the possible outputs here. A less than B one 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 one. In four cases the output is one. So you can usually uh, go through that. Now let us derive the expressions here. First let us derive the expression for uh, greater than uh, is equal to a is equal to b. So when a is equal to b, when a equal to b, when a three equal to b three, a two equal to b two, a one equal to b one, a not equal to b not. Uh, so this is nothing but exclusive nor. We know about exclusive nor. Let we have inputs like this. A B. Let the inputs are zero 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 one one zero one one. What is exclusive nor formula? A B plus A bar B bar. So here, what is the output here? One double zero one. So when the inputs are equal, when the inputs are equal, when the inputs are same, the output is one. When the inputs are same, zero zero same inputs. Output is one. The inputs are same. Same inputs. One one. Output is one. So here, A three equal to B three means we can write as A three exclusive nor B three. A three exclusive nor B three. A three. This circle dot is nothing but exclusive nor B three. So when A three equals to B three in this gate, A three exclusive nor B three. Okay. When both the bits are same, then only it will give output as. Uh, so where, uh, yeah. This, this is the gate here. So that's why here we have written A three exclusive nor B three. Uh, let us assume that this is nothing but x3. In other uh, expression evaluations, we need to use this equation. So that's why let us denote this with the help of x3. Plus a2 equal to b2 means a2 exclusive or b2. a1 equals to b1 means a1 exclusive or b1. a0 equal to b0 means a0 exclusive or b0. So let it be x2, x1, and x0. Uh, so this is in this way we can derive for uh, equal to. Now let us focus on greater than a greater than b. Uh, yeah, this is the first column here. Here we have one. So what is the combination here? A three greater than B three. A three greater than B three means A three value is one. B three value is zero. A three greater than B three means A three value is one. Whereas B three value is zero. One greater than zero. As yes, condition is true. Here A three value is one. So we can write as A three. Whereas B three value is zero. So we can write as B three bar. So one means actual variable. This is sum of product. One means actual variable. Zero means complement of the variable. So a three greater than b three can be written as a three b three bar plus second combination a three equal to b three. That is nothing but a three exclusive nor b three. A three a three equal to b three means what? A three exclusive nor b three. So that is denoted by x three. So for simplification purpose, what we are doing? In place of a three exclusive nor b three, simply we are writing x three here. Okay, x three. Next, a two greater than b two means that can be written as a two b two bar. A two greater than b two means a two value is one. B two value is zero. One greater than zero. A two is one. So a two b two is zero. So b two bar. So product operation. X three and a two b two bar. A two b two bar. Plus next one. This is x three. This is x two. This is a one b one bar. A one b one bar. Next next combination x three, x two, x one, a zero, b not bar. Okay. Uh, likewise we can write for uh, less than eight. Uh, if we take here, so here we have four ones. Okay. So this is for a less than b. So what is the first combination? A three less than b three. A three less than b b three means a three value is zero. B three value is one. A three value is zero. B three value is one. So A three less than B three. A three value is zero. So we can write it as A three bar. B three value is one. So we can write it as B three. So A three bar B three plus second combination X three A A two bar B two plus next combination X three X two A one bar B one plus X three X two X one uh, next uh, A not bar B not. Now let us see the logic diagram here. So first line a3. Uh, this line is nothing but a3 bar, a2, a2 bar, a1, a1 bar, a0, a0 bar, b3, b3 bar, b2, b2 bar, b1, b1 bar, b0, b0 bar. What is the formula for a equal to b? a3 exclusive or b3 plus a2 exclusive or b2. So here this is nothing but exclusive or gate performed on a3 and b3. Second exclusive or gate performed on a2 and b2. Third one performed on a1, b1. Fourth one. Uh, fourth exclusion or gate performed on a not and b not. So on all these four outputs, we need to perform the R operation. So this is nothing but a is equal to b output. Now let us see for a greater than b. 
A3, B3 bar. So this AND gate performs operation on A3 and B3 bar. Second AND gate, X3, A2, B2 bar. So here, this is nothing but output of X3. So this input is nothing but output of X3. This input is nothing but A2 bar. This input is nothing but B2. Next, the third AND gate receives input from X3, X2, A1, B1 bar. Next, the fourth AND gate receives input from X3, X2. So this is X3, this is X2, this is X1. Next, A0 bar, B0 bar. We need to perform which operation? R operation. We need to perform here we are having AND because, uh, because here we are performing uh, AND operation. And on these four terms, we need to perform R operation. So this is nothing but R gate. Likewise, we can easily draw for A less than B also. So this is about uh, four bit comparator, uh, two table and how to derive the e expressions and the logic diagram.